you so much for tuning into Carol's Daily Sauce. Y'all, I look absolutely horrible and I feel it. My nose is stopped up. I had to have some blood work done uh, this week, you guys. And I actually didn't even go and get the blood work done because um, it was a lot of stuff going on. So I went two days where I didn't eat anything after 12 midnight, one day after 7 p.m. But today I'm coming back to you guys. I got to put on my glasses because y'all, I don't know. I think it's my medicine that I'm taking. Some of you guys may know. So y'all, excuse me. This is going in my braids and it's really, look at the crooked glasses, y'all. Y'all know that don't make no sense. I, my husband cracks up with me. He says that I'm the only one that he knows that makes fun of my own self with my cricket glasses. Yep, sure do. Okay, so anyway, really quick, because as we said, our videos will be no longer than 15 minutes. This video that I'm doing is a video on someone that I hardly ever see a lot of people doing reactions on her. I don't know if it's because of the sector or I don't know. I did see one fellow reactor who actually did a very short reaction video on her. And I think it was none other than the beautiful Blah My Eats. I don't care what you say about Blah My Eats. Blah My Eats is funny. I like her content. Um, she gets stuff that a lot of us don't have access to. And that's probably the reason why a lot of people hate on her. But Blah My Eats, keep doing your thing, girlfriend. So anyway. The lady that I'm going to be doing a reaction video on, first of all, I need to say this. First and foremost, I did not look at the whole entire live. There is no way that I'm going to look at an hour live. If it don't have nothing to do with my kids, if it doesn't have nothing to do with my husband, if it doesn't have anything that is really 100% conducive to me or is applicable to me making myself better, I'm not gonna do it. I wish I had the time to sit up and look at a person's hour live. Now, I may do like another YouTuber who said that they did this. They were watching a live that was really, really long and they just, you know, day by day was just looking at it. Maybe I'll do that. But I did want to get this reaction video out. And this reaction video is kind of, it's kind of, it's sad. Anyway, getting on with it, it is a reaction video by Rita the Rosta. Now, I want to tell you guys, Rita the Rosta is a pretty big YouTuber. She does, most of her videos are live. They're mostly live streamed. Uh, most of her videos are live streamed. I personally knew that there was something not right with her the very first time I watched her video. There was a lot of yelling, there was a lot of screaming, there was a lot of being just unstable. Well, today a video has surfaced on YouTube and it is actually Rita filming. And Rita, and I am not trying to judge anybody, I wouldn't know anything about this if it weren't filmed live. I try my darndest to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I give everyone the benefit of the doubt until it's proven differently for me, okay? So anyway, long story short, Rita, the roaster, has just enrolled herself, as far as I know, into an outpatient addiction program. This is very dear to my heart, okay, you guys? I am in school right now trying to decide whether or not I want to work with young girls or whether or not I want to work as a substance abuse counselor. Now, the issue with me going into substance abuse is most persons that go into that field and are counselors for substance abuse users, they have to have, most of the time, they don't have to have, but most of the time they have been addicted themselves. I've never been addicted, hallelujah. Anyway, in the video, Rita is being educated on the options of the program, what it is that they can do to help her. Now, throughout the live, there's a lot of buffing. There's a lot of low talk. I don't know if it's intentional by Rita 
because you can hear the person that is interviewing her and answering the questions. Those persons you can hear very, very loud. Rita's responses to everything is really, really buffered and it's very low. However, I don't believe that she's trying to hide anything because if she were trying to hide something, she would not be recording the video anyway. So they're discussing things such as acupuncture, how she needs to come in on a weekly, daily basis to just keep going and going towards her being sober. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's pills. I don't know if it's alcohol. I don't know what her addiction of choice is. But the one thing I can tell you is that seeking help is a second sign of actually admitting and knowing that you have a problem. Because we know that the first sign is admitting that we have the problem. So the second is seeking help to go about getting yourself clean, whatever the vice may be, okay? I did notice that there were a few people doing long lives. I don't stay and dabble in a lot of stuff that is kind of, what word am I trying to say? Messy and, and down talking to people. I, I don't do that. I don't take a lot of time, <clears throat> excuse me, in viewing that type of thing. It's just not for me. It's just not. So anyway, I know you guys are probably saying, well, how do you like Blah My Eats? I like Blah My Eats because Blah My Eats tells it exactly like it is. Granted, she may do things completely different from me, but that's why her name is Blah My Eats and my name is Carol. We're two different people, but I just don't. One thing Okay, nobody on this platform say is they seen me in a live being messy. They can't say they seen me interacting being messy. They, they may be able to say that they seen me put a comment asking a question about something they were accused of being or something like that. But tit for tat all that, I don't have time for it. I'm absolutely positively too busy to be caught up in that type of drama. I have seen videos. I've seen lives that... I go, oh my God, is this really happening? And I just, that's all, that's the only, and I'm saying that in my head. I'm not saying it to nobody because I don't need drama. I don't. Yeah, and I do reaction videos, but I don't need the drama. Now, can you come for me? You most definitely can. Just like everybody says, if you're willing to throw out something, you should be willing to receive. The difference between me and a lot of people is this. I don't entertain it. I don't. I don't entertain it. I have learned that when people throw stones at you because you are giving your opinion, they are the ones who want to really give their opinion and don't want th stones and don't want the, the stones thrown at them. Many of them have no pictures. <laughs> many of them have no subscribers. Many of them don't have a channel. Many of them, all they have are very big mouths and want to be heard when they aren't saying anything. So with that being said, back to Rita DeRosa. She is actively looking for ways to get herself back on the right track, to get herself back on the right track, to get herself back to being clean. She's very concerned about her children, how the counseling is going to help her children. She, she wants her children to be taken care of. Now, many of you might say, because I heard in the past that people were calling CPS on her and they were doing this and that. I don't know because I don't watch her videos, excuse me, that often, but whatever has happened, whatever happened to lead up to this, like she said in the video, she said she just got, she's tired of sneaking. She's tired of sneaking around and going to get whatever it is that she needs to get. She's tired of it. And that's, that's also a sign of wanting to be clean. Number one, admitting. Number two, seeking the help. And number three, being tired of living in that same old lifestyle. Do I know because I was addicted to uh, advice? No, sir. And no, ma'am. But I did, unfortunately, have a aunt and an uncle who were addicted to drugs and alcohol. Unfortunately, both of them are deceased. But as a child, I knew what was going on. This hair right here. Mm. Y'all, I'm going to try to leave the braids in, but y'all know me and braids only last for about a week. Anyway, as a child, I knew what was going on, but 
what people have to understand when you are addicted and you have children or you have nieces and nephews. And we were over my aunt's house a lot. My aunt that passed away. I love her so much. Oh, my gosh. My heart is pounding so hard. But my aunt, like I said, was addicted to alcohol and she was addicted to drugs. And I seen her demise. I seen her end up having highs in her life and not the drug highs or the alcohol highs, but highs as far as prospering. I seen her have lows I, and I seen her in her worst state. I seen her in her worst state with her very worst state being that of where she passed away. And although I miss her, I'm glad that she is gone because my, my aunt is no longer suffering. So anyway, Rita is telling the people that are in the substance abuse office that she's, you know, she's tried to do this before on her own. But what ends up happening is she, you know, she ultimately goes back. You need a support system. You definitely do. So, as I said, they were offering her acupuncture, explaining to her that this is a type of thing that may help with withdrawals. Unfortunately, as I said before, her video was buffering a lot. She was telling the intake counselors that it was getting hard. She was telling them about stories and honestly, it was really touching, guys. It was touching to hear her. But what we need to realize, because I was going to say what people need to realize, what we need to realize is that when you see someone erratically going off at you, going off on another person on a video, it indicates that the person is hurting. And what do we know about that old saying? Hurt people hurt people. OK, Rita was sharing with the counselors some stuff that she's been going through in her relationship, some stuff that she's been going through with her children's dad and how it caused her to relapse. Now, that definitely explains her erratic behaviors. But once again, we have to give her credit because she is in this substance abuse office seeking help. Now, my hope and prayer is that Rita will be successful because it's always good to view others who are addicted to some vice, leaning towards getting that change. Y'all, I love intervention and shows like that because it lets you know that the person knows they have a problem and that they need help. A lot of times people do relapse, but at least they go and seek that help. I don't know where exactly she lives. I'm assuming New Orleans because she kept saying, baby, I'm assuming it's New Orleans. It's not a good area. It's very, it's a very poor area. It, it looks to be a very poor area. People hanging out, you know, outside of uh, liquor stores and stuff like that, convenience stores and stuff like that, trash and stuff. So she said that she knows it's bad and she's trying to get away from there. And she knows it's a bad area. So that's, I'm telling you, one of the most wonderful things that we can do for ourselves, whatever it is in life that we are going through, is realize that there is always a way out. You are never stuck in anything. You are never stuck in a bad marriage. You are never stuck in a fat body in which you want to lose weight. You are never stuck in anything permanently. Everything in life that you encounter, everything in life that you are going through is something that you can get through because if God allowed you to go through it, if he allowed you to go to it, he's going to get you through it. God is always able to do that. Now, I know this isn't, you know, a channel about me preaching or anything like about that, but it is it is a it is a inspirational channel. It is a educational channel. But the hope for Rita is that she will get the help that it is that she needs. Hopefully people aren't bashing her in the live. There were some people bashing her because the moderators were were saying things about it. And you know what? It all goes back to the same thing. And I'll be done in a few minutes because we are definitely at 15 minutes. It all goes back to this. 
Hurt people hurt people. People always tend to find some sort of vice to make them deal with life's problems. And number three, when they have enough guts and enough nerves to go and try and seek help, counseling, get into programs, don't bash them. Congratulate them on trying to make a positive change for their life. With that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to be reminded of all of the videos I upload. I will be participating in Vlogmas and I will be continuing to bring these videos out to you. Thank you once again to all of my subscribers. Thank you to all of y'all this hair right here. I do not look like to look bad coming in front of this camera. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you to all of those who will be coming aboard. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you. <coughs> bye bye. It's not a good area. It's very, it's a very poor area. It, it looks to be a very poor area. People hanging out, you know, outside of uh, liquor stores and stuff like that. Convenience stores and stuff like that. Trash and stuff. So she said that she knows it's bad and she's trying to get away from there and she knows it's a bad area so that's I'm telling you one of the most wonderful things that we can do for ourselves whatever it is in life that we are going through is realize that there is always a way out you are never stuck in anything you are never stuck in a bad marriage you are never stuck in a fat body in which you want to lose weight you are never stuck in anything permanently. Everything in life that you encounter, everything in life that you are going through is something that you can get through. If he allowed you to go to it, he's going to get you through it. God is always able to do that. It is a inspirational channel. It is a educational channel. But the hope for Rita is that she will get the help that it is that she needs. Hopefully people aren't bashing her in the live there were some people bashing her because the moderators were were saying things about it and you know what it all goes back to the same thing and i'll be done in a few minutes because we are definitely at 15 minutes it all goes back to this hurt people hurt people people always tend to find some sort of vice to make them deal with life's problems and number three when they have enough guts and enough nerves to go and try and seek help, counseling, get into programs, don't bash them. Congratulate them on trying to make a positive change for their life. With that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to be reminded of all of the videos I upload. And to all of my subscribers, thank you to all of y'all this hair right here. I do not look like to look bad coming in front of this camera. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you to all of those who will be coming aboard. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you. Bye-bye. <laughs>